Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Y'all know I love getting the party started with a little bit of bottle popping, but I couldn't just be the life of the party all by myself. So I brought back our friend and creator of Shelby Wine so she can really show us how to shake it up with some good <laughs> champagne tasting. Please welcome sommelier Regine Russo. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> you're more than welcome. <laughs> I so think you're glad really to have, have you here. here. <laughs> you know, every time you come, I just get excited. <laughs> okay, you know, we always hear the songs. They're like, we all pop some bottles, we all pop champagne. Mm -hmm. But how do you properly okay. open a bottle of champagne? So first of all, you don't want to pop champagne, mm -hmm. okay? You see uh, in movies, uh, 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 champagne. And they're all, all over the place. You're wasting it. alcohol that. abuse. Well, you're wasting it. Well, not just that. This is really dangerous. Mm -hmm. Like, one of these can actually take an eye out, mm -hmm. can break glass. So every champagne bottle has a little bit of a tab right here. Some producers are better at it than others, but you just pull the tab and you should be able to get a pretty clean cut, mm -hmm. okay? That's really important. Like, I didn't get a clean cut, but you really want to get a really clean cut, yes. okay? This is the cage and every champagne bottle, uh, six turns and the cage loosens. Mm -hmm. Most important thing that you have to listen to is make sure you keep your finger or your hand over the, the cage, cage at cage. all mm -hmm. times, okay? And I actually, I don't even remove the cage, I just twist mm -hmm. and you shouldn't even hear it. If I do a good job, you wouldn't even hear it. You shouldn't hear a pop. Let's hope this bottle don't embarrass me, let's see. Oh, yeah. it embarrassed me a little bit. No, it's, it's absolutely <laughs> fine. You know, at least we know it's open. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you care about, right? right? <laughs> so once it's open, yes. how do we hold our glass? So any glass with a stem, you're going to want to hold it by the stem, mm -hmm. okay? So whether it's white wine, it's champagne, whatever, hold it by the stem, mm -hmm. okay? And do you want to taste? You thirsty? I do, I do want to taste, but let me tell you, yeah. I don't like stemless glasses. I don't either. Especially for my white wine, because we all know that when you hold it by the base or whatever, it, it warms it from your from your hand. And exactly. that just drives me batty, so I do not use stemless I don't glasses. either. I don't either. I so do I not. always, I like a stem, and it's the proper way, it's the proper glassware. Yes. So probably, what are we going to taste right now? All right. What's be our first taste of Chapignac. So, <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing I want to do is I want to teach you guys about style. Okay. okay. When you walk into a champagne a store and you see the aisle of champagnes, you don't not really sure what you're going to get in the bottle. Mm -hmm. So the first one is a Vincent Couche Chloe. Ooh. I know you like Vincent Couche. <laughs> this is a zero dosage. Very important. What that means is there's no sugar added. Mm, it's okay? a tart. It's tart, but there's some good fruit to mm -hmm. it. It's got a little bit of orange zest going on. This is absolutely one of my favorites. I like this a lot. And if you're on keto and you're trying to watch your sugar, this is a nice one to have yes. because there's um, no added sugar, just amazing. natural so sugars. How does that work with the fermentation process? Yep. So since there's no added sugar, sugar is, yep. it, is it a little higher in alcohol content or is it no, lower in alcohol content? No, it's 12.5. Basically what happens is at the end of a um, the champagne making process, they'll add a dosage mm -hmm. and the dosage will determine determine how sweet the champagne is. And what is, is a dosage for those of us who don't yep. know? Dosage just is a sweet liquor that determines the sweetness. So this is zero dosage. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Another way to drink when you're on your diet. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm where getting, are we going we're getting signs to move on. So the next one, try this. This is Charles Heitzek. Yes, uh, he's a very expensive man. Yes, he is, yes, but he it's is. worth it. <laughs> this is an example of a vintage champagne, okay? So this is their 2005. Mm -hmm. This is special because vintage champagnes are only made in extraordinary years. Mm. So you rarely see uh, the date on a champagne bottle. And this particular one, they've only made four since this what? winery has uh, been in existence. Very buttery, very nice, it, actually. It's like, I, you know, someone asked me what to pair this with. I say pair it with life because it's just delicious on its own. Okay. okay, so what do we have next? All right, this is an example of a Blanc de Blanc. Mm -hmm. And Blanc de Blanc means white from white. So this is 100% Chardonnay. Okay. So this style is fresh, it's clean. This is perfect if you're having brunch and you're serving fried chicken. Mm. I love Blonde de Blanc with fried chicken. Yeah, this is a nice daily kind of champagne. Daily, nightly, like afternoony, all okay. of the above. Here we go, the rosé. Last yes, but not yes, least, yes. Uh, this is the Chino Rosé. And ro uh, champagne is a blend of Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Meunier. Ooh. And this is a really, it's a rich champagne, and it's really good with like, I like to have it with smoked salmon. Mm. 
It's Ooh. gorgeous. Oh, I hear some people. Yes. Yes. Well, you know, we missed, you know, National Champagne Day, but you, you have a did. song about it. I How's did. It How's I it wrote a song about it. You I ready? Here, here it goes. Okay. Most girls love want blue boxes with white satin sashes. Uh -huh. I'm a wine lover and one thing will do. Uh -huh. A vintage bottle of champagne for two. Virginia, we always love when you okay. come down to the circle. For more champagne tips like this, follow her on Instagram at Shelly Wine.